Hello darlings, how the devil are we? My my, it's Tuesday and the juicy news is already coming in and boy is it a good one. As some of you may know, Cryptic Studios were responsible for making the ARPG for the Magic the Gathering franchise. And essentially the game had you playing one of their so-called space wizards running around slaying mobs going on a mystical magical adventure. And just like its big brother, it used a card system to make itself a little bit novel. And using cards that you found throughout the game, you could summon spells and creatures and battle your way through and do all sorts of magic-y things. I'll be honest, for the very few who did enjoy the game, there is bad news today. Because they've announced that they'll be closing down the live service. They put out a message saying, It is with heavy hearts that we announce Magic Legends will be shutting down on October the 31st, 2021. And for those who are wondering if you're going to get your money back, basically they've said all players who spent money in-game across Ark and the Epic Game Store during the open beta will be refunded with their purchases for a full amount. They also did announce that they'll be closing down the cash shop immediately and that all items that are currently in the beta will be purchased using Aether, which is basically their free currency. Now what's funny about closing the cash shop is it was the cash shop that caused the problems to start with. Yes, there were some performance issues as well, but I felt they would have been ironed out with time. But the main issue was how greedy the cash shop system was. And this was a sentiment that was felt all across the Magic Legends community and on the Magic Legends Reddit there was one famous post it started three months ago it was by Nurin and he put fastest uninstall of my life got in finished the first area opened the store and saw a literal class locked behind booster packs and I uninstalled disappointed but not surprised pretty obvious cash grab and for those who don't know what that is basically there was a Demir assassin and this was a drop from the booster pack. So it wasn't you bought the booster pack and you got the actual assassin class. It was a random drop. And these packs, they cost $3 worth of Zen currency per one. And I think in all the ARPGs that I've ever played, I don't think A, they've ever done something like this. I, Blizzard put in the Necromancer, but you could buy it outright. But to put it behind an actual loot box is just bonkers to me and I know some of you will be like oh well you could use free currency to buy the packs or whatever but no to actually grind it out it took ridiculous amounts of time which was both unfun unpractical and just damn right out of order now Steve Ricosa put out a message saying our vision of the magic legends Mr. Mark if you ask me it wasn't even on the same page it wasn't even on the same continent they were literally building it for moon people moon people or people who if you cut them literally would bleed cash which is absolutely bonkers when you think about it because you've got a community a very large community that loves magic at the moment and are very used to the whole kind of idea of opening packs to get cards but they they it's like they took it up a level it's just like hmm let's see how far we can push the community you know and see see where they break even with the whole jank of the game concept, it wasn't actually all that bad a game. And it was, you know, it felt like it had a lot of potential. The Magic Universe is huge. They are always coming up with really cool novel ideas. And I think they could have really done something with this. So to give you an idea of like kind of things that you would have to pay for, there was already a battle pass. There was the booster packs for the assassin, which you may have got the assassin for. You then had to pay for new deck slots as well. And they were $5 each. With the whole battle pass, you had the conventional, you could buy it for $10 or you could spend 25 to get a few more levels. And here's the real kick in the teeth. Even if you wanted to grind away, you were like, no, I, I'm happy just playing this game because I love it so much. They then go and cap how many resources that you can get. And even though I had really just forgotten about the game, which I suppose, you know, on hindsight, it makes you wonder, was it actually all that memorable? But I am not surprised in the slightest that they have ended up with this situation. This is Amazon all over again. And some of you may have heard what Day9 said about it. It was like, and I completely agree with it. He said, it's not that the game lacks interesting decisions. It lacks decisions. I now know why I'm getting so heated, so I actually did a recording to whine about the original beta that they put out because it was so goddamn awful, and the cash shop, etc. But the game as well, for an ARPG, right, I love going through ARPGs and Diablo, and I accept the fact that I get absolutely tons of junk loot, right? But it is junk, and it still makes me feel like I'm getting something, even if I put 90% of it in the bin. But no, no, it, they don't even drop you loot. 
There's nothing. Everything is just like an empty breath of disappointment. Do you know what Magic should do to recuperate their fans? They should write a book on how to create a game that disappoints your consumers constantly. Anyway, I could go on and rant all day about this game, but the game is ending on the October the 31st of 2021. I'm sorry for all those who think it was coming out on console. That is also being cancelled. And all I can hope for is Cryptic. And even though they said this in their statement, they were like, oh, we've learned some valuable lessons and we'll put this in our development process going forward. I really hope they do. I really hope that they realize that cash shops can be an absolute cancer in games if they are implemented in a hideous fashion. And when I say hideous fashion, I mean so directly obvious that they're trying to suck every ounce of happiness out of both your soul and wallet at the same time. Anyway, I'm off to get my stakes and silver bullets to make sure this one doesn't rise from the dead again. I hope all of you are having a great week so far. I will update you with any more news that I hear on this and other exciting stories. But for now, be safe, be healthy, and I'll be back with more news soon.